So in this video, I kind of want to go over layered storage with Stratus, which is generally a tool you're going to find. Well, you have to install it, but it's, it's you're going to find it on Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating systems. Um, but how does it... First, I want to go over how it differs from, you know, what we've been doing with volume groups and logical volumes and physical uh, volumes, right? So take a look with LVM, if you look here. Um, we would have a device, uh, devices, we'd make physical volumes out of them. We'd make a volume group out of those physical volumes, uh, which would be the combined size of those physical volume or physical volumes. And then if we wanted a file system, a logical volume, we'd have to create a logical volume and define a size, right? And that would be its fixed maximum size. So if I created two logical volumes here in LVM of 50 gigabits each, I've still got 300 gigabits waiting out here in my volume group. And if I wanted to extend these, I could go in and, you know, LV extend these logical volumes to use up uh, what, to add more space that was available from the volume group. Oh. But the key point here is with LVM, file system space has a minimum and a maximum. Now, when we come over here to Stratus, right, when we, when we manage uh, file systems using Stratus, I've still got physical devices, right? Um, but we don't make physical volumes. We don't make a volume group, but we make something similar called a pool, right? So with LVM, we take our devices, we combine them into a volume group, and that's the size of the volume group, the combined size of the devices. Same for the pool, it's the combined size of these devices. Um, but that file system is different, so right? If we created a file system uh, in pool one, that file system, its minimum storage value is the amount of storage it's currently using, right? So if it's using, if there's 20 gigabits worth of data in that file system, that file system is 20 gigabits large. There's no maximum, how, well, there is a maximum, but the maximum isn't confined to the file system. The maximum is however big the pool that file system is in, right? The file system is dynamic. It can expand and extend. It can expand and, and withdraw, retract as needed. Um, so if it's initially 20 gigabits, and then I add another 3 gigabits to the file system, it just takes 3 gigabits from the pool and adds it to the file system. Um, so similar to LVM, only in the fact that we combine physical devices into a pool or volume group, right? But that's kind of where the similarities end. Uh, so let's head on over to the machine here. Uh, and I've got a AWS EC2 instance here, and I've attached uh, some storage. Um, but generally, Stratus doesn't come installed. You have to install it. So I'm going to go ahead and do you know, install Stratus uh, CLI and Stratus D. Uh, -Y. And we're going to go ahead and install those. Okay, they're installed. Uh, and then I just installed it, so obviously we're going to need the system cuddle enable. And, uh, you know, some people say system CTL. Um, you know, I picked up the word system cuddle off the, the guy from the uh, Linux tutorial YouTube videos. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, I like saying system cuddle. Uh, Stratus. Might want to spell it right. All right, so I had enabled Stratus C, but I did forget to start it. I apologize. Uh, but anyway, so now that I've gone ahead and created the pool, right, I can view that pool if I do a Stratus pool list here. It's going to show me all my pools and how big they are. So it's 20 gigabits uh, because I only use this one device. But if I had used both, it would have combined them. So I would add 20 plus 30, it would be 50 for the pool size. Um, what if I wanted to now add more storage to this pool, right? So with LVM, when we added a, more space to a volume group, we did a VG extend. Well, similar concept here, right? We just do a Stratus pool add data, and then we do the pool name. So I want to add more space to pool one. Uh, and then which device do you want to add? So now I want to do XVDC. And now we can see that uh, if I do a Stratus pool list again, we can see the pool size is increased by the amount of uh, space I've added based on that device. So creating pool, pretty simple. You just 
Stratus pool create the devices you want. Adding more storage, Stratus pool add data of the device you want. But now we need to create a file system, right? So for that, we'll do a Stratus create or Stratus file system create. The pool name we want to create this file system with. Which pool do we want to host it? And then the file system name. So I'll do file sys1. And now it's creating this file system uh, in pool one. I'll give it a second here. And it's done. So you see how that was pretty easy, right? There was minimal work there. All we needed to do was choose a name and point it at a pool. Unlike, you know, LVM where we had to specify a size or a minimum and maximum, right? So like I said earlier, the minimum file system is the space currently being used by the file system when it comes to Stratus. So the maximum is the size of the file system is the size of the available space in the entire pool because that file system will expand and retract as needed using that pool space. So now if I do a Stratus file system list, I can see the file system I just created in pool one uh, and how big it is, right? Because I don't really have anything in this file system that's as big as it was. Um, but notice there's no minimum or maximum size allocated, right? Uh, you know, it spits out a UUID so we can use that to put in uh, Etsy FSTAB. Uh, let's go ahead and mount this real quick. So now that I've got the file system created, right? Uh, and I, I want to go ahead and mount it, right? So we saw with LVM, we, we, you know, we had to mount a, a path similar to, you know, device, volume, group, and then the logical volume, right? Well, it's similar to Stratus, but we're not going to do device, volume, group, logical volume. We're going to do slash Stratus slash pool name slash file system name. And then where we want to mount it to, right? So now I've gone ahead and I've mounted it to test directory. So if I do an LS block here, um, you can see that my uh, file system has been mounted to test. And you're going to see it a couple different times here. And that's just because of the way that Stratus just, you know, distributes storage among that pool. Um, but now I want to show you something here, and I've gone ahead and uh, ahead of time. If I do an LS block here, right? Oh, uh, actually, if I want to do a, where is it? I need the UUID. So let's go ahead and file system list, right? Stratus file system list. I see, I get my UUID here, so I'll go ahead and copy that. But if I wanted to edit Etsy stab so this mounts automatically upon reboot, right? I've gone ahead and done it proactively here. Um, you know, it's the normal syntax, the UUID, where do you want to mount uh, it to, at the file system defaults. But then we have this line here, X system D requires Stratus D service. And that's saying um, the machine has to make sure Stratus is, the Stratus service is, is started and enabled before it can mount this. Uh, because Stratus storage is depend dependent on the Stratus service. Um, so one more thing uh, would be, uh, there is a, a nifty command called uh, Stratus snap, uh, file system snapshot. And it's a pretty easy way to make a, a copy or a snapshot you know, of your file system. Uh, and you would just do strat so fi Stratus file system snapshot, the pool name, right? So I got pool one going on here, uh, the file system that I want to copy and then the file system, the new name of the, of the snapshot, All right? Uh, one copy. And then give it a minute here to copy. Uh, it's pretty small, so it shouldn't take too long. All right. So now that the uh, file system snapshot is done, if I do a file system or actually Stratus file system list, uh, you'll see I now have uh, the snapshot listed as a file system. 
So if I were to go ahead and delete file system one here, uh, I could still mount uh, the copy here uh, and it would all my data would be accessible. And that's it for layered stores, storage with Stratus.